Hey everyone, I want to show you a quick tip here on how to open up a new file in InDesign uh, as if you were to say, for instance, going to create a brochure. This is how you would set up your document. Before you set up your document, a lot of people, they have issues where their documents are set up in PICAs, PICAs, however you say it, or, or some other type of, um, what's the word? unit or increments or whatever it is. So you go down here to what, what you want to do when you, when you first start is you click on your InDesign tab right here and then you go down to preferences and in preferences you'll see unit and increments. So you go ahead and click on that and this dialog box will open up and you will see here that uh, <clears throat> originally it'll be set to picas. So what I do is I just switch it to inches. I switch horizontal to inches, I switch vertical to inches, and that's pretty much all that you need to do. So every document that you open up from now on, every new document, you will have the option to, everything will be in inches, and it'll be something that everyone can understand. So after you have that all set up, you just go ahead and click OK, and you come up here to File, New, and you have four different options. You have Documents, Book, Folio, or Library. We're going to do a Document. So now that you open up uh, a new document dialog box here, everything is pretty much how you want it to be. Uh, if you want it to just be a regular document, you're going to want to have two pages because you're going to need a front and a back. And you don't want facing pages on. That's for, that's for books. So you uncheck that and you want two pages for your front and your back. Start page number one, that's fine. Now over here on orientation, you want to switch it to landscape mode because most documents are in landscape mode. And here you decide how many columns you want. I'm going to want three columns in my brochure. Margins are fine. And this is one very important thing. It's usually set up like this and you'll have to click on bleed and slug. So you click on that and then this box will pop up and usually you set it to 0.125 and then you hit tab and that will set it across the whole bar as long as this little uh, chain link is, ch is, uh, is, is checked. If not, it will not, if it looks like that, it will not bring it across the board when you hit tab. So make sure that you have that clicked and it's closed so it will bring it across the entire uh, bleed top bottom left and right so after you do that uh, you go ahead and click OK and there it is you have your uh, brochure page you have this line right here that goes around the entire brochure this is where you want to have all your text and images in everything outside of that you want to stay out of it because this is where it gets kind of iffy because the printer, not all printers cut exactly the same. That is also why you have this red bar all the way around. This is your bleed. When you when you uh, decide what color the background you want to be, whether it be one color or multiple colors, you want to bring those colors all the way out to the bleed so that when the printer uh, cuts the paper, there's no white around the edges. So that's how you create a document in InDesign to create a brochure. Thanks for watching, guys.